how do they do that? Hi, we are Sara and Digo. We quit our jobs and sold everything we had to fulfill our biggest dream, to travel the world full time. After visiting the modern part of Ho Chi Minh City, we headed to explore the authentic side of the biggest city in Vietnam. Hi everyone, in the last video we showed you more modern part of Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam, but in this video we're gonna focus ourselves more on the local life and we are starting our day at local market. I really love those wallets. Not sure if I need one, probably I don't need it because I never carry any money, but they are so pretty. And it is 35,000. So, how much is it? It's been more than a dollar, dollar and a half. Wow, that's a good price. Wow, that's a really nice hat. The price is 100,000, so it's about four dollars. Not really expensive, but what to do with it? How to carry it? <laughs> the stuff in here is really pretty. You've got like kimonos and all the beautiful dresses. But I need new pyjama. Maybe I'll find it. <laughs> I was searching for a long time for a hat to protect me from the sun here in Southeast Asia and I never found one because my hat is way too big. But finally now I have one. Still not perfect, but it fits okay I would say. And also the initial price started with 5 US dollars, but never forget to bargain here and I got mine for 3 US dollars. I love the smell of the fish in the morning. <laughs> of get the Istanbul vibe and the Grand Bazaar because you've got a lot of fake stuff in here but also a lot of souvenirs, food and most of the stuff it's really kitschy but somehow it is still cute. Like one of my bag again? Uh, uh, okay, when she's I don't know if we should buy yellow or blue or another okay, color. Okay, we can wait. Uh, maybe you can kind of like it. This one. Mm -hmm. Dark red. Black. Black is always good. Blue or blue with black. Yeah. Beautiful nature colors. We have enough pockets. You can wear it as a backpack. Yeah, I can do nothing. You can also wear it like that. Yeah. Let's go to school again. Four hundred, right? You pay dollar, right? Only sixteen dollar babies. Uh, yes, <laughs> sixteen dollar. Yeah, it's expensive. This one for good one. Uh, okay, buy it now. <laughs> it's not cheap, 16 is not cheap. Okay, 15, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, How much maximum? How much should we take it? In dollar? Yeah. 12. Not enough? 15. 15, it's too much for us. Uh, yeah, let's say 12. 14. 12. <laughs> You still make profit. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, this part looks more authentic. The other one was probably more for sure because you got so many souvenirs, so many stuff to buy. And here we are getting something. To eat. We got rice with vegetables and tofu. And they just brought us rice then with uh, some cabbage. And then we had to wait a little bit longer so we can get our tofu. We also got the sauce, so let's pour it. Spicy but really good. Guys, you know how I love to read the books, so is there anything better than a street full with bookshops? And the street is even called the Book Street. How amazing is that? There are also people selling some jewelry, some handmade stuff, and we've got also some coffee shops. So this is the place for whole family already. You have also here some mangas or animes. I'm not really sure what's the difference. I think one is like the movies and one are the books. But what's really nice of them is that they give you also like some bookmarks so you can put it on the last page you read and you know where from you have to start next time. In the book street, of course, the main topic is reading. And how convenient is it also that you have like some tarot places where they can also read your future. Look, you've got really cool magnets here for the planet. So maybe we should start collecting also planets, not only magnets from every country we are visiting. 
this street doesn't only have the amazing books but it is also a little bit of spiritual artist friendly street because you've got candles with some stones you've got handmade soap you've got handmade i don't know some kind of hair clips stuff like that earrings and you've got also henna so they are doing henna there you got reading the cards it is really amazing so every freak which loves that kind of stuff including me it's in heaven in here and right next to it there's also a historical post office We left this street one to experience a little bit more authentic Vietnamese lifestyle and here we are in Holon, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it totally right and this one is located in District 5 and well it is a different side of Ho Chi Minh City because here you have so many street vendors street food stores and it is so far really authentic here in this area are also some really nice temples and this one where we are at the moment is really chinese and this has also to do because the whole area is like the largest chinatown in the whole vietnam in each temple we visit we love to observe how the people here come to pray and donate some food and drinks and it is really fascinating and beautiful to see. This one is nice. One of the fishes, look this one, the white one with the dog on her head. Wow. Um, there are so many fishes. I love also how they rebuilt here like a whole village. they do that it is so small and all the details are really accurate it's amazing each temple here has its own recognizability just a few hundred meters away from the last temple we found another one this one looks a little bit different but also still influenced by the chinese culture and it is also really beautiful here we have also like a wall with donations of people who donated some money of these temples. Those things over there are like candles so if you donate something these guys light it up and then he puts it here at the top and it burns all the time until it's done and it's also kind of a donation for the temples. This is it guys we hope you did like the small insight on Vietnam local life we definitely did so once you're gonna be here in Ho Chi Minh make sure to come here don't just go in district one the district one is really beautiful but this one it's really authentic and of course if you did like our vlog don't forget to like it subscribe to our channel and leave a comment and see you in next one bye